Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears here and today I'm sharing the Stamps of Life Club products for February 2023. In this video, you're going to see an unboxing of the club items and my design process for the cards that I made with these items. So first, let's take a look at the Stamp and Die Hard Club set for February, which is called Garden Bunny to Stamp. The stamp set is a 4x6 stamp set and it has two bunnies, there's some grass, and there's several sentiments. And what I love about this stamp set is that it's not specific to Easter. So if you look at the sentiments, there are some sentiments such as happy birthday, I'm just a hop, skip, and a jump away, somebody loves you, don't worry, be happy, and several others. So if you're a member of the Stamp Club, you will get the stamp set, and if you're a member of the Die Hard Club, you will get both the stamp set and the coordinating dies. So let's now take a look at the February card kit. This month's kit is called Hugs, and it coordinates perfectly with the Stamp and Die Hard Club sets. So with all card kits, you always get this idea card, and it has the name of the card kit, and there is some inspiration on there. So there's always three cards that you can make to inspire you to use your card kit. You always get a large plastic envelope. This is useful to store cardstock sheets. It is also useful to store your card kit contents. You get some A2 size envelopes for your cards. There are 12 sheets of 8.5 by 11 cardstock in the colors Pixie, Green Apple, Ocean, Razzleberry, Blue Jay, Cloud, Lemonade, ginger snap, and then there's four sheets of the powdered sugar, which is the white cardstock. So here's a look at the paper pad with the card kit. As I said, this is the Hugs collection. So you have a couple sheets of patterned paper that has the word Hugs. You also have these sheets that have the bunnies that coordinate with the dies from the Die Hard Club set. So you can use your shadow die and you can die cut these bunnies. And I always love using these images from the paper pad because they make for such quick cards because you don't have to color, they're already colored for you. So the Garden Bunnies to Stamp dies, they cut out this sheet here and you get two of these sheets in this paper pad. And then there's also a sheet that has the bunnies from the add-on set and this is the more Garden Bunny to Stamp. So if you have that set and have that those set of dies, you can die cut that page out as well and you get two of those as well. So a lot of the pages in here have some rain patterns in various colors which is super cute because one of the bunnies in this paper pad has a little leaf over its head like a little umbrella shielding itself from the rain. So that would be really cute to put together with that particular bunny. So you can see there's also some sheets here with several bunnies on the page. There are some dots. Here's another hugs. And then it just repeats itself back over again so you get two of each sheet. You also get a sheet of epoxy stickers that are sprinkles. There's a sheet of puffy stickers that has the bunnies and some butterflies. Also included are some silver glitter puffy stickers. These have the word hi as well as some hearts and stars. I love this pack of felt flowers in the ocean color. There is a hugs word die included and it's a pretty large die. I really like this die. It actually matches the same font that's in the paper pad. So it does come with the word hugs and the shadow. And there's an A1 size pop out card die set. So this die will make a pop out card and it's a smaller than an A2 size. It's an A1 size, which is about three and a half by five inches. So you get the card base and you get the layering pieces and the layering pieces have stitching all around, which is really awesome. There are some flower dies and some matching leaf dies in that die set as well. There's also a ribbon and there is a free gift, which is a die set. There's a few dies in here. So if you're a card kit member, you do get this in your kit this month. 
There is a die that's like a little log. There are some carrots. There's some Easter eggs. So this would be really cute to make a really cute little spring scene with the bunnies. So that is the Card Kit Club for February. Keep in mind that by being a club member, you can save every time you shop in the Stamps of Life store. Gold Club members receive a 20% discount on all products in the store. And by being in the Gold Club, that means that you receive the stamp set, the die set, and the card kit each month. If you are a member of the Stamp Club or Die Hard Club, you also save by getting a 15% discount when you shop. And I will have links in the description box of this video and on my blog if you are interested in joining the club or even upgrading your membership. Remember, using my link just tells the Stamps of Life that I referred you and you will get 500 bonus club points to spend in the Stamps of Life store. You can also use my promo code, which is Lisa Mears. And I do get a small commission if you use my link and you all know how much I truly appreciate your support by using my links. So here I'm just using the shadow dies and I'm going to die cut all of these bunnies out because I'm going to use some of them on my card. So I always like to do this first. And here's a look at all of the die cuts that are included in this kit. So there's a total of 16 butterflies and 16 bunnies. So for a few of the cards I'm making with this kit, I'm bringing in this slimline grass die. And for this card, I die cut some of the green apple cardstock and also brought in some of the kiwi cardstock from my stash. And I'm going to ink the edges with the corresponding ink colors. So if you don't have these exact inks, you can find a green ink that you have that matches closely to the green cardstock that you're using and just add some ink to the edges because I feel like adding ink to the edges it just adds some extra depth to your die cuts. After I ink the edges I'm just going to come back in here and get a little bit more ink on my ink blending tool and pounce some of the ink on top of the cardstock just for some added depth. So I cut the butterfly paper to four and an eighth by five and three eighths and I'm going to layer up the two grassy borders at the bottom of that cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and add the lighter green one first. Notice how I'm raising it a little bit because it's going to be a little bit higher than the dark green cardstock layer. Once I've glued them down, I'm going to flip this panel over and I'm just going to use my scissors to trim off all of that extra cardstock from that panel. Next, I'm going to add some more of the green apple ink just along the edges of that panel just to add some more depth on all three sides. Next, I'm going to take the ribbon that came in the kit. I'm going to put some quarter inch tape behind it and I'm going to wrap this ribbon around the top portion of that card layer. So I'll go ahead and cut the size that I need and then I'll remove the backing from the tape and then I will press this down onto my card layer towards the top of that card. I'll flip the card layer over and then I will wrap the sides around the back and secure the ribbon in place on the back of the card panel. I'm going to use the bunny that's hopping so it's going to look like he's hopping in the grass so I'm going to come over to my stamp set and I'm going to stamp out the sentiment that says hopping by to say and I'll use that sentiment on the front of the card and on the inside of the card I'll use the happy birthday sentiment. So I went ahead and stamped it out onto white cardstock and I trimmed it down with my scissors and now I'm just backing it up on some of the ginger snap cardstock and I'm going to add that in the middle of the ribbon. Next I'm going to go ahead and glue down the bunny and I'm going to add some flowers to the grass. So I'm going to use the flower dies on the A1 card die set. I die cut them out of the Razzleberry, Pixie, and Lemonade cardstock and I'm going to add them to my card. And off camera, I did ink up the edges of the flowers just to add some depth to those flowers. So I'll go ahead and glue those all in place. And I'm not gonna add the centers back. Instead, I'm going to add some of the pops of color to the centers, which is a liquid embellishment. And I'm gonna do that at the very end because it's the last thing that I wanna do for my card because it will need time to dry. I'm going to add this layer to a piece of cardstock. It's the Ginger Snap cardstock and it's cut to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I will add that layer to an A2 size card base. 
For the inside of the card, I stamped out Happy Birthday. And now I'm ready to add the pops of color to the centers of the flowers. So as I said earlier, this is a liquid embellishment. So I'm just squeezing it here to the centers. This card will need to dry flat, but once it's dry, it will have a glossy white finish. So that completes this card. For my next card, I have this piece of pattern paper. I cut to five and a quarter by four inches. And I also used a scallop circle die. Die cut it out of white cardstock, and the inside I die cut out of that pink rain pattern paper. So I'm gonna put the scallop circle on the pattern paper as you see here, and I'm going to glue in the rain pattern paper. Next, I'm gonna take the ribbon from the card kit and I'm gonna add it across the bottom of the layer. So just like with the previous card, I did add some double-sided adhesive tape to the ribbon just so that it lays flat on that card. And then I'll just secure it on the back of that card layer. I die cut another circle out of a circle die and stamped out a sentiment inside of the circle. The sentiment says, pouring out my love for you and then I added the bunny to the center of the circle. I did add a glitter heart to the card and now I'm going to add that to a piece of the pixie cardstock that I cut to five and three eighths by four and an eighth and then I'll add that to an A2 size card base. And that will complete this card. For my next card, I am going to be making a slimline scene card, and I'm going to start out with a piece of the Blue Jay cardstock that I cut to eight and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. And to add some interest to this piece of cardstock so it's just not a flat color, I am adding some ink around the edges. So I added some of the ocean ink around the edges first, and then I'm bringing in the lighter. Uh, teal color and this is the sea glass ink and I'm just going to blend that in with the darker color and also blend it more towards the center. I also die cut a slimline grass die and I'm adding some ink to the edges just like I did in a previous card and then adding some ink on top for some more depth and I also have a slimline grass die cut out of the green apple cardstock and I'm going to do the same thing. So the kiwi cardstock was the lighter green and I brought that in from my stash. Next I also die cut some of the flowers and I'm inking up the edges in some matching inks. The cardstock that I'm using for the flowers is the Razzleberry, the Lemonade, and I'm also bringing in some of the bubblegum cardstock from my stash. And I'm also going to be bringing in some of the free dies that were included in the kit. So this little log piece, I die cut out of some ginger snap card stock and I'm inking up the edges to add some more depth to this piece. I'm also going to be bringing in some of the eggs. To add some interest to the eggs, I added some dots with a pink marker. I also added some little chevron lines with a purple marker so you can see what these look like. And I also inked up the edges. I'm going to be using the carrots, which I die cut out of white cardstock, and I'm going to use my inks to color them. So I'm just masking off the top of the carrots and inking up the bottom of the carrot with the orange ink. And then once I finish coloring the bottoms with all of the orange ink, I'll mask off the bottom of the carrot and ink the top with some green ink. You can also do the same method by using your markers and coloring them with your markers. So here are all of my carrots. And then I'm just gonna take a white gel pen and just add some white accents to the carrots. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the flowers. Now I'm ready to start putting this card together. So I know I'm gonna have the sentiment hugs on the card, so I just place the die where I want the sentiment to appear. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I wanna make sure that when I add the grass layer that the grass is not too high because I only wanted the word hugs to be in the sky. I don't want it to overlap the grass at all. So I go ahead and add the 
lighter green grass first, which is actually my largest piece of grass because this piece needs to stand up higher than my thinner piece of grass. So once I add the lighter piece of grass or my thicker piece of grass, I'm gonna go ahead and add the smaller one right on top. So I'll add glue and then add that to my card. And then any extra cardstock on these grass layers that extends beyond that blue panel, I'll just trim off the excess. So I'm gonna have one of the bunnies on the left side of the card and one on the right side. And to ensure that this bunny lays flat on the card because it's going to be over several layers of cardstock, I did die cut the shadow die out of white cardstock. And I'm just going to cut it in half the top part of the bunny is the one that I'm worried about not laying flat. So that's where I'm going to add that top layer of that shadow piece right on the back of the bunny. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this little log piece to the card and the bunny is just gonna be sitting or standing there on the log. And then I'll add the bunny to my card. So when this is added, the top part of the bunny will lay flat on the card because now it has some extra cardstock underneath it. I'm going to go ahead and position all these little die cut pieces where I want them to create my little scene. Once I have everything where I want it, then I'll go ahead and glue all of the pieces down. So I already glued everything down to the card except for the sentiment, which I die cut out of the Razzleberry cardstock. I'm going to add this to a shadow in white cardstock, and then I'll add that to the large open area on my card. Notice that I did not add any of the centers to the flowers. I'm going to do the same thing that I did with a previous card and add the pops of color to the centers. So I'm going to wait to the very end to add that. But notice that my little scene has the flowers, it has the Easter eggs, and it also has some of the carrots. So a really cute little scene. I did add a butterfly there in the sky, and now I'm going to add this to a white slimline card base. My card base measures eight and a half inches by three and a half inches. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and take my white pops of color and add them to the centers of the flowers. And these pops of color, they come in so many different colors, but I wanted just to go ahead and use the white for all of the flower centers. So here is a look at my completed card. For my next card, I am using the A1 die set that came in the card kit. And I'm going to die cut the card die out of some of the ocean cardstock. So that's going to be my card base. You can see that this die puts some score lines into the cardstock, and you'll be folding out those score lines. So first, I'm going to fold in half at the center score line. And then next, I'm going to fold at this diagonal. And I'm going to use my bone folder just to press that down really well. And this little triangle piece needs to be folded so that it's on the inside. So watch as I fold this. I'm just going to tuck in at that center score line and then fold that in half. And that is how you fold this card. So I'm going to do it again. So with the card base laying flat, just take that triangle section and push it downward so that it's folded on the inside. So there's your card base. You can make this card either a landscape or you can make it portrait. I am going to make my card a landscape card. So next I'm going to use the layering die and die cut a piece of pattern paper for the front of the card. And when doing this, you need to make sure that you're using the right layering die. They both look almost identical, but if you don't use the right one, you're gonna end up with a piece of pattern paper that is not cut correctly. So I am going to use this die and die cut this piece of pattern paper, and then I'm going to add it to the front of my card. And I love that these dies have stitching all around the edge, just adds that extra little detail to these die cut pieces. Now I'm gonna open up the card and I'm ready to work on the middle of the card. So once again, I'm gonna take my dies and I'm just going to lay them out 
on the inside of the card just so that I know which dies correspond with which sections because remember they are different and this is really important when you're using pattern paper to die cut the center of the card. I'm not going to use pattern paper. I'm just going to use the yellow cardstock. So it's really not going to matter because all the dies are going to be cut with the yellow cardstock. But if you're using pattern paper and you don't want to waste your pattern paper, just keep in mind that you want to make sure that you're die cutting it with the correct dies for the top panel or the bottom panel. So I die cut another grass die and I already inked up the edges and you can see here that I'm putting it on the diagonal straight edge of this yellow card stock. I'm going to snip off the excess and then I'm going to take another piece of that grass border die and add it to the bottom straight edge of that same yellow card stock and then I'll just snip off the excess. Now I'm not worried that they're overlapping because I can cover up that line with a flower, which I'll do that in a few minutes, but I do want to get the stitching all around the edge of the grass. So I'm going to add back this die and I'm just going to make sure I have it placed in the right position and I'm going to tape it down, run it through my die cut machine again, and when it comes out, now I'm going to have stitching all along the bottom edge of the grass. So the stitching is all along that green cardstock as well as the yellow cardstock. So now I'll go ahead and add this to the inside of my card. This is going to go at the top panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and add all of these other yellow pieces back in. So I'll add the triangle piece on the top and then I'll add the bottom pieces as well. But before I add the large bottom yellow piece I am going to stamp a sentiment on that and once I stamp the sentiment then I'll add that piece inside of the card. So the sentiment that I'm using is I'm just a hop skip and jump away. So I'll go ahead and stamp that down with some black ink and then I'll glue that into the inside of the card. So adding that grassy area to the top makes me think that it looks like a little hill. So I'm going to go ahead and add this bunny that looks like it's hopping along and over top of the hill and through the grass. And then I'm going to add some of the flowers. So I went ahead and die cut the flowers. I've already inked up the edges and I'm going to add them to the card. I am going to use this one in the light purple color and I just put it over the spot in the cardstock where those two grassy borders meet up. That way you don't see that line. And I am going to tuck some of the leaves in to the flowers. And I'm also going to add some of the bigger flowers to the small triangle panels and tuck some of the leaves in for those as well. Now I initially left the centers without um, adding any cardstock in the centers, but I thought I was going to use the pops of color, but I decided that I don't want to because I'm going to have flowers on the front of the card and I'm also having the flowers on the middle and I feel like it would take too long for this card to completely dry and I want to be able to close it. So I am going to come back in a little bit later and add some cardstock centers to those flowers. In the meantime, I die cut the word hugs out of the Razzleberry cardstock and I'm going to layer it on two pieces of the ocean cardstock. So my word hugs has three layers of cardstock on it and the reason I did this was because I wanted my cardstock word to be a little bit thicker than just one piece of cardstock. I wanted to add some thickness to it because you'll see here in a minute that I'm going to have that word extend off the edge of the card and I didn't want it to be flimsy. I didn't want it to break if somebody was handling the card. So by adding the thicker layers, it allows it to have some more stability. So I go ahead and add the bunny that's holding the watering can and I add a few more flowers to the front of the card. And then I'm going to add the sentiment. So you can see I'm going to have it right here on the edge of the card. So I only need to put glue on the bottom part of those letters. And then I'm going to add it to the card front and press that down really well. 
And I also want to point out that when I turn this over, I want you to notice that because I added the same color cardstock as the card base, it's all one color on the reverse, which I really like doing that to add some consistency to the back of the card. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the centers of the flowers to all of the flowers on the card. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is just take my glitter sparkle. This is the clear glitter pen by Spectrum Noir. I'm just going to add it to the hugs word to add a little bit of sparkle. And I'm also going to add it to all of the flowers on the front and on the inside of the card. So it just adds a little bit of glitter which I love. So here is my completed card. I just love how this turned out. For my next card, I have a piece of the Razzleberry cardstock that I cut to two and a half by five and three eighths. And I'm taking this banner die and die cutting the edge, it puts a little scalloped edge. And then I'm gonna take this other banner die that's gonna actually put some stitching into the cardstock. You can see that beautiful stitching and scallop. And then I have the pattern paper with the dots on it and I cut that to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'm going to add the fishtail banner piece right to the center of the dots pattern paper. I die cut three flowers, two in yellow and one in the purple, and I'm going to add those along the bottom of the fishtail banner. I'm gonna be using the cardstock centers, and I'm also going to be adding a few leaves on these flowers. And for the sentiment, I stamped out this sentiment that says, happy birthday, and I just trimmed it down it's on some white cardstock, and I'm going to add it so that it is flush with the right side towards the top of that card layer. I'm going to add the bunny with the watering can onto that banner. And then I'm going to add a butterfly. I'll add the one that's in the pixie color, which is the light purple. And then I'll add this to an A2 size white card base. And I'll finish this card up by adding a few of the Spellbinders gems in the crystal mix. So if you want to see what additional products I used with this kit, I will have those links in the description box below as well as on my blog. And remember, as always, I will have a blog post with up close pictures of all of my cards as well as card measurements and supplies. So be sure you check out the description box below for that coordinating blog post link. Well, I hope you like my cards today. I would love to hear which card is your favorite. So leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you did like this video, please click that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe for more card making inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye-bye.